When Daniel Ricciardo made a tough decision to leave Renault, he found himself asking a key question, one which left him with an answer that it hurts him to say. Back in May, it was made official he would be joining McLaren and then team boss Cyril Abitbu took a shot at the 31-year-old without even mentioning his name. In a statement confirming the switch, Abitbu emphasized the need for reciprocated confidence, unity and commitment in the industry, calling them critical values. He did not explicitly mention Ricardo, but tensions clearly lingered over his decision. Now in the Netflix documentary series called Formula 1 Drive to Survive, Ricardo has revealed the question he asked himself that helped bring clarity to his decision. The fifth episode, titled The End of the Affair, lifts the lid on Ricardo's Renault exit and both his and Abitbu's respective dilemmas following the decision. For Ricardo, it is grappling with whether it was a risk worth taking while Abitbu, who openly admits to being a very emotional man, has to move past the bitterness. Horner himself knows too well the dilemmas Abitbu was dealing with given Ricardo left Red Bull for Renault in the middle of the 2018 season. The episode ends with Ricardo's brilliant 4th place finish in a chaotic British Grand Prix equaling his best result ever. There are mixed emotions though, with then Renault boss admitting that watching Ricardo and teammate Esteban Ocon succeed was frustrating. Abitbul said that, quote, One thing I must say watching Daniel Ricardo right now, it's something that's making me feel the frustration and disappointment. There were similar concerns in the F1 world after Ricardo's long-awaited podium at the Eiffel Grand Prix but he maintained at the time that their improvements did not leave him with second thoughts. Max Verstappen thinks he knows what Mercedes were up to in pre-season testing and has not been lulled into a false sense of security. Mercedes's difficult three days in Bahrain was unexpected considering the ruthless efficiency with which they have won the Drivers' and Constructors' World Championships for the last seven years. But they lost the vast majority of the first morning's running due to a gear shift problem and the following day, the car had to be transported back to the pits when Sir Lewis Hamilton spun and beached it in the gravel. In addition, and although times in testing are rarely representative, Mercedes appeared to lack their usual pace especially compared to Red Bull duo Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez. However, the Dutchman claims to have knowledge of the World Champions program and is not allowing himself to get too confident of repeating his dominant victory in the most recent F1 race, the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix when the new season begins in Bahrain next week. He said that Red Bull could see what Mercedes were doing on the data. They drove their first fast lap with less power, then they drove two quiet laps following by a second flying lap. In that, they won half a second on engine power. Verstappen also gave his take on how he perceives the order going into the curtain raiser on March 28, believing last year's leading three teams currently occupy those positions again, albeit he will be hoping for a reversal between the top two. Sebastian Vettel completed the fewest laps of any driver in preseason testing due to his AMR21 suffering a number of mechanical issues. Sebastian Vettel's much anticipated debut with the Aston Martin F1 team is just a matter of days away, but the German may find himself struggling in the first race as his running time in preseason testing was severely limited due to his AMR21 suffering a series of mechanical issues. Speaking after the three day test in Bahrain, Vettel emphasized that it's difficult to get an idea of the pecking order from testing as there are so many different variables and unknowns in play. Furthermore, the four time world champion stressed that it's even difficult for him to get a sense of how good a job Aston Martin have done with regards to the 2021 Challenger as a car can feel good to drive but end up being very slow relative to the competition. Vettel completed just 117 laps the least of any driver across the three days of preseason testing in Bahrain as he was hampered by a series of mechanical issues on his AMR21. XF1 driver Ralph Schumacher said this week that he expects Vettel to struggle in the season opener in Bahrain on 20th March due to his limited running in testing. Vettel admitted that he would have liked to have had more time in the car to get prepared for his debut race with Aston Martin, but he didn't suggest it would severely impact his performance. And that's been it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Apart from that, I hope you're an awesome day and um, bye bye.